Okay, so today we're going to be talking about one of the most surprising things in the world of criminal law. One of the most surprising things that it's even illegal or how it's treated. My name is Veronica. I am a criminal defense attorney here in Los Angeles, and I help people who have been arrested put their criminal cases behind them so that they can enjoy their lives and their freedom. And again, this is going to be about one of the most surprising things that is illegal or at least uh, the way it's treated is surprising. Um, let's just let's just dive right in. Um, okay, so when I first started doing criminal defense work when I was an intern, one of the things that I learned that I remember surprised me then but doesn't surprise me now is that you cannot resist arrest even an illegal arrest. So let's say that the cops like they I'm just walking down the street just doing my thing, having a nice like evening walk. And they see me and they say, okay, they're, and they see, okay, there was actually a, a suspect in the area, another blonde woman who was a burglar, a robber, very dangerous, uh, armed and dangerous. And they decide, you know what, we are going to, we need to take her down. So they come and they arrest me. I'm like, what the, f you know? What, why are you arresting me? Like, I'm not, I didn't do anything. I was just walking. I, I, I didn't do anything wrong. Um, so let's say that I resist and I'm like, no, you're not going to arrest me. And I, I flail my wrists around and I say, no, I'm, I'm not getting in those handcuffs. Like, F you, you know, um, which <laughs> would be warranted and would be just if I didn't in fact do anything wrong, right? They've misidentified me. Um, but what I learned that sort of makes sense, but is sort of messed up is that resisting arrest, even an illegal arrest, even a warrantless lack of probable cause, complete bullshit arrest is a crime. It can be charged as a felony or a misdemeanor in California. And, you know, on the one hand, we don't want people resisting arrest. But on the other hand, if I get a complaint, that's where they say the charges against my client, and it's just resisting arrest, it's kind of like, all right, if that's the only charge, resisting arrest, you guys had no reason to arrest my client to begin with, and you did it, you, you did it anyway, and he did something wrong, but you guys did something wrong too. And I suppose the prosecution would say, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. But really, like, how how is that okay? You know, we, we don't want people fighting the police, sure. We don't want police fighting people. Definitely not. Um, but should you really potentially have a felony because you were really surprised and maybe the cops tackle, tackle you to the ground? They say, okay, you know, this blonde woman was armed and dangerous. So they tackle me to the ground. I'm really surprised. And I flail my arms and, you know, sort of just not really resisting them arresting me, res resisting them, like, throwing me to the ground. Like, I, I should be able to at least have a reaction, a human reaction. Um... But that's the law. You know, as a criminal defense attorney, of course, I can explain to the prosecution and explain to the judge and explain to the jury if I have to, you know, show them that this wasn't even a voluntary reaction necessarily on this person's part. Um, and this was just a reaction to being tackled to the ground or grabbed and had, you know, their arms pulled behind their back where maybe they were hurting at the time. Um, but you know, it's hard after doing this for a long time and I've been doing, I mean, I've been doing criminal defense for at this point, like about 13 years. I've been a lawyer for about 10, but I had an internship where I was practicing law and I was in the courtroom for, uh, you know, my entire law school tenure. And I, and that's when I learned this to begin with. Um, and I remember just being really surprised. Like, shouldn't it be that if it was a bullshit arrest, you can't charge them with resisting arrest. Shouldn't it be? So when I sometimes when I'm making these videos, I, I try to think back and think like, what wouldn't I have known? You know, after a while you learn things everybody does about their profession that you, you realize, okay, you know, people who didn't know this or when I first started, I didn't know this. 
Um, and I think it's really important to for us all to know these things, especially because ignorance of the law is no excuse. And they don't really teach us the law in high school or in public school at all. Or, I mean, I went to Catholic high school. They didn't teach us that there either. Um, so anyway, I hope that this helped. If uh, you do have a criminal case in California, feel free to give me a call. You can find my number down below. You can also book a consultation with me there.